subspaces are nice because they inherit all properties of a vector space. But how can you see whether a subset of a vector space is a subspace? You already know the definition, we will now see how this works in two examples. We'll start with uh, vector space R4 and uh, 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 V equals uh, R4 and W, a subset of R4, while the vectors of the form A, B, B minus A, as you see over here. So, for example, the, the vector 1, 2, 2 minus 1 is uh, in V, but the vector uh, 1, 2, 2, 1 is not. The second and third components have to be the same, and the one and fourth components have to be the same up to a sign. So let us see whether this uh, is a subspace of R4. Well, I need to check the conditions. Is the zero vector in the subspace? Well, yes, you can choose A and B, zero, and then you get zero, 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 zero. So the zero vector is in uh, W. And then we have to check the other two conditions. We take a vector x1. Uh, we take a1 and b1, and that fixes the other two components. It should then be b1 and minus a1. And we take another factor x2. We set a2 and b2 for the first two components, which fixes the other ones. Those should be 2 and minus a2. And then we have to check whether the sum is again in w, and whether a scalar multiple of one of them is still in uh, w. So let's see whether that's true. So first we take the sum x1 plus x2. So what do we get as first component? a1 plus a2, and then we get b1 plus b2, b1 plus b2, and minus a1 minus a2. And what you see is that these components over here are still the same, and these components over here are the same up to a sign. So this is again of the form a, b, b minus a, so this factor x1 plus x2 is also nw. What about scalar multiple? of uh, factor x, say x1. Well, this uh, becomes c times e1, c times b1, c times b1, and minus c times a1. Just multiply all components with c. And then you observe that these components, again, in the middle are still the same, and these components over here are the same up to a sign, so this factor is also in w. That means that we see that uh, any sum of two factors in w is again in w, and a scalar multiple of a vector in W is also in W, which means that both properties of a subspace are satisfied, and it means that W is a subspace of V. Second example. V is now P3, and uh, W is a set of all polynomials with coefficients a plus b times t. You can choose, choose those freely, but when you have chosen those, then the t squared term is also a b, and the t cubed term is a minus a. That looks quite the same as the previous example, doesn't it? Well, let's see whether this is also a subspace. First, the zero function. Is it inside your w? Well, you can choose a and b zero, then you get, get this polynomial, the zero polynomial, so the zero is fine. Then we choose two arbitrary polynomials in w. So we choose a p1. So we can choose the first coefficient, a1, we can choose the t coefficient, b1, and the other two are fixed. Then we also need to take the b1 here and the minus a1 over there. Do something similar for the second polynomial, p2. We can choose the first two coefficients, a2 and b2, but then the other two are fixed, b2 and minus a2. And then we again have to look, is the sum still in w, and is the scalar multiple also in w. So let's see. What happens if we add p1 and p2? Well, then we get the p1 over here and p2 over there. So we add them up. And then we order everything. We take the uh, constant terms first. We get over there. So, so there we have. Then the t terms over here. And then the terms is the t squared here and there over here. And uh, finally, the terms is g cubed here and there. So we are over there. And what do we see? Well, the terms in front of the t and the t squared here and there are the same. And the terms, the constant term and the term in front of the t cubed is the same up to a sign. So that means that the sum of two polynomials is again in W. And then 
the other property, the scalar multiple of a polynomial. So let's take c times p1. Let's see what happens. So c times p1. Then you have to multiply all coefficients with c. So we get c times a1, c times b1 times t, c times b1 times c squared, and minus c times a1 times key, t a cubed. And then we see, again, these coefficients are the same. And these coefficients over here are the same up to a sign. That means that a um, scalar multiple of uh, a polynomial is also again in W. And that means that also a second uh, condition is satisfied. And that we have, uh, that we see that uh, W is a subspace of V. So you see, checking whether a subset is a subspace is not so hard. You just have to check all the conditions. But well, it can be quite some work. But then you know what to do, you know how to do it, and then you and so you can do it.